Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumed channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the MacRide Secura N95. They come in a box of 40 for 4147. They also have a 4.1 out of 5 rating with 565 reviews. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these respirators. They come in two bags, so I'm guessing each bag has 20, very thin. They also come with the ripped headband straps, which personally, they're not my favorite. These tend to be more um, comfortable to wear, so I'm gonna see how this fit on my face. This is how they look from the inside, and it also has a nose foam. So this nose wire is actually pretty sturdy. I'm gonna flatten it out so that it's easier for me to adjust it to my nose. Because of the straps, I definitely feel like this is a small fit because it is very tight on my face. Like I said, the nose wire is actually pretty sturdy, so I am able to create a good seal with this nose wire. Although I am getting a good fit, it's not the most comfortable mask. Headbands are very tight and I can already feel them digging into my cheeks. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is inspired by NIOSH. We first ran a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto a testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability, so the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. First sample tested at 99.86% with a pressure drop of 10.2 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 99.87% and had a pressure drop of 10.1 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration percentage was 99.77 and had a pressure drop of 10 millimeters of water. So overall, personally, I found these masks to be very uncomfortable to wear. I wouldn't really be able to wear this on a regular basis because even though I was getting a good seal, they are not that comfortable. But with that being said, they tested very well in terms of filtration efficiency and pressure drop on our TSI machine. So you can't really go wrong with these since they are within the N95 standard. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what masks we should test next. Or if you would like to send us a mask or respirator, please make sure to check the description box. We're going to be having our address along with our website which is acumen.com and our master testing data sheet please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video